It's the Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Discoverer is a lady, Mrs. Lucy Carmichael. Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> now, uh, tell us something about yourself, Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, I'm a housewife and I have two children. No, 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 it's, not, it's not necessary to get that close to the microphone. Just oh. sit right here and we'll talk normally, right? Oh. Now, uh, tell us about this new talent you discovered. Well, I, uh, I discovered my new talent in Mr. Krause's butcher shop. <laughs> well, uh, that's very unusual, finding a star in a butcher shop. Well, I, uh, I noticed that whenever I went into Mr. Krause's butcher shop, he would shake hands with all the customers and catch frankfurters in his mouth. <laughs> Mr. Krause? No, his dog. <laughs> oh, oh I, I see. Mr. Krause has a trained dog. His name is Beauty, and he does so many tricks. He can, he can walk on his front paws, and he dances on his hind legs, and when Mr. Krause plays the harmonica, he howls like the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Carmichael, tell me. Uh, if uh, you're Mr. Krause and his dog should win our first prize, what do you intend to do with your half of the hundred dollars? Have my plumbing fixed. <laughs> well, I guess that's a very practical use. Yes, the hot water comes out of the cold water faucet, and the cold water comes out of the hot water faucet, and nobody ever comes out of the bathroom. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, here's another talent discovery. Mr. Krause and his trained dog, Beauty. Now, for his first trick, Beauty is going to shake hands with his trainer. Go ahead, Mr. Kraus. Beauty, shake hands. Shake hands. <laughs> shake hands. Uh, what's the matter, Mr. Kraus? You having trouble? Uh, maybe it's the lights and everything. Uh, the people, it makes him feel strange. Yes, I it, it could. It could make him Yeah, it made nervous. me feel strange. It I feel could. fine now, but I can imagine yeah, what well. it's doing to the dog. <laughs> Try it again, Mr. Krause. <laughs> yes. Shake hands. Shake hands. Oh, he went through his legs. Did you see that? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Michael. And now, ladies and gentlemen, and now, I'd like to have a word. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Beauty will show how a courageous dog can help a whole community battle crime. Why do you see him do this? Yes. Now, the dummy good. that they are bringing in is supposed to be a burglar. Now, watch how the dog attacks the burglar at the command of his trainer. Go ahead, Mr. Kraus. Watch this now. Yes, attack the burglar. Attack the burglar. Get him! <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, yeah. if you've finished playing the anvil chorus, <laughs> would you explain the emergency that made you drag me away from the bank? Well, I'm having trouble with my plumbing. 
Uh, Mrs. Carmichael, any normal woman faced with that situation would send for a plumber, not a banker. Oh, I know that, but today to get a plumber, you need a banker. <laughs> Just sent for a plumber, so I need money to pay him. Oh, I hope that's him now. Come in. Glad to see you. I have had such a time. I don't know what's wrong here. I've been trying to fix it myself. <laughs> what's the matter, lady? Haven't you ever seen a plumber before? <laughs> Do you know that you look exactly now, like... Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Will you stop that already? But you do. Look, every place I go, People tell me that I look exactly like him. Yes, you do. Yeah, well, look at I'm not him. My name is Tuttle, Harry Tuttle. <laughs> but but you're, uh, you're amazingly like him. You look enough like him to be his twin. Look, you're paying me by the hour, see? And I want to give you a service. I don't want to give you a conversation. Now, where's the leak, lady? <laughs> Well, it's not a leak, uh, but uh, the pipes are mixed up in the sink. Well, I'll get to that right away. You know, I didn't mean to get so mad, lady, but you know what bugs me? What? Three billion people in the world, and I gotta look like him. <laughs> well, I should think you'd be happy to look like Jack Benny. He's very popular in banking circles, you know. I've uh, done business with him myself many times. Oh, does he have money in your bank? He has money in every bank. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> well, let's see what's going on here. You know, that's very unusual. <laughs> what happens if you turn on both faucets at once? I don't know. I never tried that. Let's see. time I've seen anything like that. How can anything like that? Oh, Mr. Tuttle, turn it off! Mr. Tuttle, turn it off! Oh, dear. I just don't know what to say, Mr. Mooney. I'm so sorry. Just say goodbye. I'm leaving. Now, Mr. Mooney, well, what about the money for the bill? Tell him to send the bill to the bank! <laughs> Tuttle, I hope you don't mind sending your bill to the bank. Ah, don't worry about it. It's nothing. What's money? It's nothing. <laughs> Boy, you may look like it, but you sure don't sound like it. And you know, that's what makes me sorry that I look like him. What do you mean? His reputation. You know that I can't go into a restaurant and have waiters wait on me because no. they think I'm him. Is that so? You know, at the, at the trains, the porters won't take my luggage. <laughs> You know, every time I get my shoe shined, the boy makes me pay after each shoe. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, of course, I've always thought he was very funny. There's only one thing funny about Benny. He walks like my sister. <laughs> enjoyed him very much. You've enjoyed him because he hasn't ruined your life like he's ruined mine. What do you mean? I'll tell you what I mean. You know that I can't even get a driver's license on account of him? Why not? When they give me an application, every time I put down my age, they throw me out. Why? Because I'm really 39. <laughs> 
Well, you know, now that I look at you closer, you look much younger than Jack Benny. Thank you. <laughs> but you know why they think you both look alike? Why? Because you both have blue eyes. <laughs> Mine are bluer. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, hand me that plunger, will you please? Sure. <laughs> I can't get this thing to budge. Yeah, I'm sorry I slammed it down so hard, but that's what happens every time I get mad at him. Really? Yeah. Well, look at a little, a little water will loosen that up. Yeah, be careful of those faucets. Now, look at, don't tell me my business. You know, I'm a plumber. I know what oh, I'm doing. Oh, okay. I just... I'll have that fixed up. Don't worry about it. Gee, I think I see what's wrong with it right away. I think I got it now. She didn't take you long to fix it. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow and check it for some more leaks. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that plunger. Oh, don't worry about it. How much is the bill? There it is. I only charge you $6 for my services. Oh, well, that sounds very reasonable. Thank you. $12 for my plunger. <laughs> $12 for an ordinary plunger? Well, look, when you return it, I'll refund your money. Oh, okay. Well... It'll probably get loose when the weather's a little warmer. <laughs> well, goodbye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Go out in the garage and get that big crowbar for me. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Carmichael. You are Jack Benny. Now, please, don't start that again, will you? Oh, stop acting. I'm not going to tell anyone. Gee, Mr. Benny, if you wanted to become a plumber to pick up a few extra bucks, that's your business. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, once and for all, please believe me. I am not Jack Benny. <laughs> but the violin. That's the worst blow of all. What do you mean? Because of Jack Benny, I'm a plumber and not a concert violinist. <laughs> I'll give you credit for bringing back that plunger. Thank you. Did, did you study to be a musician? Are you kidding? <laughs> I was a child prodigy. Really? At the age of four, I made my debut at Carnegie Hall. I can still remember that night. While I was on the stage, I had to stand on a chair. Oh, so the audience could see you, huh? No, so I wouldn't trip over my curls. <laughs> as a child, I was a violin virtuoso. But as I grew up, I began to look like him. 
By the time I reached maturity, I was finished as a musician. But I just heard you play. You play beautifully. I know. That's not easy when your hands are in water all day. <laughs> I still shudder when I think of my symphonic debut as a grown man. What happened? It was at the Philharmonic. I remember I walked to the center of the stage and I fell flat on my face. You tripped over your curls? <laughs> No. I mean, the audience laughed at me because I looked so much like him. Oh. They made fun of me. Oh, that must have been very embarrassing. Yeah. I'm not used to having people laugh at me. <laughs> From then on, it was the same every concert I played. So you had to become a plumber, huh? Yeah. To think that these hands have gone from Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms to sink, sewers, and cesspools. <laughs> well, have you ever tried to change your appearance so you don't look like him? Yeah. Once I tried. I tried growing a mustache. Then I looked like Hitler. <laughs> Even that was better than looking like him. My mother made me shave it off. She's saving it with my curls. Well, have you ever tried a beard? A beard? Yeah, you know, lots of musicians wear them. Skitch Henderson, Mitch Miller. Yeah, but I'm afraid I'm the nervous type. I'm afraid with a beard I'd be scratching all the time. Oh, don't be silly. Do Skitch and Mitch itch? <laughs> starting a musical career all over again. I wouldn't know where to begin. Hey, I would. Did you ever see a television show called the Talent Discoverer Show? Yeah, I watch it all the time. You think I could get on it? I think you could, yes. Now, don't you worry about a thing. It may take a little doing, but I'll do it. I'll take care of all the details. You are going to be on their next show. Welcome to another Talent Discoverer show. Our uh, first Talent Discoverer this evening is a young lady, Miss Lucretia Carmucci. Miss <laughs> Carmucci. <laughs> uh, right over here, please. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> well, I, I, I think it might be better if you sat here in the chair, Miss Carmichael. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, uh, before you tell us about the talent you've discovered, uh, I wonder if you'd like to tell us a little bit about yourself. Ah, oh, that's a nice. My name is Lucretia Carmucci, and I'm a nomari. I don't marry anybody. <laughs> What's the matter, you? I'm sorry, Miss Carmucci, but uh, I must say you look vaguely familiar. How's it that? <laughs> I said you look familiar. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, you Americanos. All the time you're giving the girls the same old line. Have we a man or before someplace? Ah, I know nobody. I just come here from Italia. <laughs> Italy. Si. Un piacere di conoscerla. Ah, paisan. That's a, not a nicer thing to say in front of all these people. Oh, my. Uh, I was merely saying it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I know. What do you say? But it's the way you say it, you little <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Carmucci, will you tell us about the uh, talent you brought? Well, he's a player, very nice of violin. Oh, he's a violinist. No, he's a plumber. He's a what? He's a plumber. <laughs> oh, a plumber, you mean? A plumber. That's what I say, plumber. <laughs> yeah. well, what's his name? His name is Ari Tudley. <laughs> oh, yes. 
It's Harry Tuttle, ladies and gentlemen. Harry Tuttle. Harry Tuttle. Well, that's, that's, what that's I said. very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer violence. Is he good? Is he good? He's a wonderful. He fixes my pipes in five minutes. <laughs> I meant as a violinist. Oh, well, why you know, give him a listen and find out, huh? Well, fine, fine, that's very good. Uh, what is he going to play? He's going to play a nice arrangement of Gypsy Otters by Saracetti. No, oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lucretia Carmucci's talent discovery, Mr. Harry Tuttle. You look wonderful. Don't be nervous. Grazie. Prego, prego, prego. If you please, maestro. I can't make it today, Audrey. I'm expecting the plumber. Yeah, I did have my pipes fixed, but he's coming over this morning to check on them. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at the... Oh, that's him now. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Carmichael. You're not angry at me, are you, Mr. Tuttle? Nah, I should say not. You know, thanks to your getting me on TV, offers have been pouring in all morning. Oh, for concerts and nightclubs? No, kitchens and bathrooms. <laughs> Well, I better take a look at this now. You only got offers to do plumbing, huh? Yeah, but I've had so many offers, I'll be the happiest plumber in town. Oh. <laughs> I got in so much business, I even had to hire an assistant. Oh, is that so? Well, that's nice. It sure is. I'll get her. Hey, Irving! Irving, bring in my tools. <laughs> You look exactly like... Look, please don't start that, will you? Where's the leak, boss? Right over <laughs> here. Right there, right there. 
What's the matter, lady? Haven't you ever seen an assistant plumber before? <laughs> The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. is a lady, Mrs. Lucy Carmichael. Mrs. Carmichael. Now, uh, tell us something about yourself, Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, I'm a housewife and I have two children. No, 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 sorry. It's not necessary to get that close to the microphone. Just oh. sit right here and we'll talk normally, right? Oh. Now, uh, tell us about this new talent you discovered. Well, I, uh, I discovered my new talent in Mr. Krause's butcher shop. <laughs> well, that's very unusual, finding a star in a butcher shop. Well, I, uh, I noticed that whenever I went into Mr. Krause's butcher shop, he would shake hands with all the customers and catch frankfurters in his mouth. <laughs> Mr. Krause? No, his dog. <laughs> oh, oh I, I see. Mr. Krause has a trained dog. His name is Beauty, and he does so many tricks. He can, he can walk on his front paws, and he dances on his hind legs, and when Mr. Krause plays the harmonica, he howls like the Beatles. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, uh, uh, Mrs. Carmichael, tell me, uh, if uh, your Mr. Krause and his dog should win our first prize, what do you intend to do with your half of the hundred dollars? Have my plumbing fixed. <laughs> well, I guess that's a very practical use. Yes, the hot water comes out of the cold water faucet, and the cold water comes out of the hot water faucet, and nobody ever comes out of the bathroom. <laughs> 